on the garden update today. Um, and today I just wanted to show you the summer heat is so bad that these, this uh, clematis is called um, Jacob's Ladder clematis. And it's beautiful, but it gets so hot that it will wilt. And I should, I'll have to take a picture and see if I can put it in here. Um, what it looks like first thing in the morning because it's beautiful but by the time the heat gets it oh my gosh it's just ugh. okay so what am I doing out here besides showing you my clematis well I am also out here because all of this is going to be cleared um, with the exception of this we don't know what we're going to do with this but it's down in the ground so we're going to take it and then the picnic tables are going to come and go up here and the xylophone and all of this is going to go into my garden so where we're going to put it yet i don't know i want to have a bird center um, maybe bird watching if the kids are quiet or whatever um, we have the three feeders and this little thing right here is an old candlestick that we found and um, i need to put my wire back across there but i put fleece in that for them to make um, their nests out of so that is a fleece dispenser for the birds and then we're also going to take that bird bath and move it so it'll just be this pole and i did have a little easter thing that i was going to put there so i'm thinking i can lean that up against there but the little chairs and stuff will go um to the garden and there is my makeshift <laughs> shade um, they all were under there now it's just a couple of them but they're finding out it's cooler over there than it is anywhere else so this is our watch pen. They either have scours or they're a little wormy. So they're or underweight. That was one of the things. Gertie, she she's not either. She's just a little underweight. So anyway, watch pen that has nothing to do with the garden. Back to the garden. Back to the garden. All right. So from here, um, this is the front. I guess I could put this in the gardens because I've got lemon balm here. Um, that's mint over by the clematis. This is lemon balm. That's lemon balm. There's chocolate mint down in that old piece of machinery. And then there is um, peonies, I think, in that big crystal -like tub. So um, this is the front. It's not in the gardens. but um, And this, of course, is my daylily bed. But as summer comes on, it always looks like that. And it always comes back the next year. It's because the dogs get in there. But... Um, yeah we will i'll take you down to the garden and show you what's in bloom and what's going on but this stuff look for it next week to be actually in the garden okay as you come into it you can see that it is out of control the day that i i normally mow once a week um and this is twice a week or yeah no once a week is normally what i mow but it, this is two weeks without it being mowed because of the rain and stuff we had hail one day i don't know if you saw that video but uh, it was pretty bad this whole thing toppled over i had to redo my wire um the onions are actually going to heads i'm going to get some of those heads off and give them to the people that i promised um and then of course we've got some cucumbers in here now the thing is is that if you look at mr cucumber right here these turn yellowish orange i don't know what they are or why i just know it's funky but they do taste pretty good for um cucumbers i mean that's i don't know but if you look there's one there's one there's a little bitty one that one look at that one just waiting for it to turn orange um it is they're really hard when they're like this so I don't know. A lot of them form like this teardrop shape, so uh, they're just not, <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be laying on the ground, if they're a funky shape, but they do turn yellow. So um, if you saw that, our update, I put a picture in of a nice huge one that has this yellowy hue and they actually taste pretty good. So then we have this thing. Look at our basil is starting to take off. I am very proud. Our cantaloupe is starting to, but it's wrapping around to the next level. I don't care. Let it climb all the way up. What do I care? So we've got some basil here. This. I'm wondering if thinning those out might help. I don't know. And then we've got our tomatoes finally going. So, um, now the only thing is, is that I think a couple of the ones that were black tomatoes have 
passed away. <laughs> I don't know what they, they got the 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 hailstorm, and a lot of them broke off. So I may not have any black tomatoes. Um, strawberries. We've been coming down and finding a few every night. There, you know, white ones right here. Um, RJ digs through. Oh, there's one. I see one. There it is. Let's see. Nope, oh, there's one that he missed too. It looks like there's a black one in there. Which is fine. He'll come down tonight and see there's another one. Um, and he's been getting two or three, you know, a day. And he's happy with that. He gets to come down, pick them, and go on. Peaches, peaches, peaches. I don't know how to tell them when they're ripe. But we're going to find out. Our other big thing is in the storm. Look at this damage. Look at this. I finally get things growing. And Mother Nature just goes after me. Um, yeah. The hailstorm took that out. I'm pretty sure it's a combination of the weight of the peaches and that being already damaged. If you remember, we were trying to save this. This is where the bull took this out. The master gardeners came down and they tried to fix it. Yeah. We're, we're probably going to have to take this down to here. Um, just because. I talked to a lady who said that it probably wouldn't hurt to do that. Um, she also advised that maybe clipping this one back or thinning the fruit. She says it's going to be the next to break if I'm not careful. So, um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't want to thin it until it's totally frozen outside. So, this February, this peach tree will be thinned out a little bit. Then we've got apples, apples, apples. Woohoo! Look at those apples. These apples, I don't know what the heck they're used for in real life, but... I made pies out of about the 15 that we got last year. I made pie filling and it was amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It was awesome. Um, and it looks like we're going to get even more this year. RJ wants to, and I think he said he was leaving that perfect one up there. He says it's picture perfect. He's going to um, pick it off the vine and eat it right out here in the orchard. So that's his dream. Um, we have gourds over here. You can tell some of the leaves are, they're acting like they're dying. I know it's because of number one, they took a beating. It went from 93 degrees to a hailstorm, and I think the temperature was 67 in less than 10 minutes. That has to take a toll on a garden, okay? I don't think there's anything, any amount of skill that can prepare you for that. Um, this stuff took a royal beating. Um, as you can see, it's out of control. I have vines everywhere. I don't even know. I was trying to keep them all organized, and this was supposed to go here, and the, the loofah gourds were supposed to go here, and the watermelons were supposed to go down there. I've got them everywhere. I've got them so high they're not even on that cattle panel anymore. And that's supposed to be the cucumbers. But look here. That part going up, do you see the dead? That's hail damage. Um, so I am trying to keep my cool and composure about it. It's like, when it first happened, I just wanted to cry. It's like I've worked so hard to get a garden going. Now I've got, okay, I don't have a whole lot of selection, but I have things growing and I'm super excited and Mother Nature just came and kicked my butt. See, right in here, I haven't harvested today, but we have dragon's eggs cucumbers right down in there beautiful beautiful that one almost looks ready to harvest i found out that they're like a just with a green hue but almost white tastes the best to me now whether that's ripe to everybody else i don't know so we have um vine everywhere the pepper plants there's one here and like i said i've been working to try and get this back under control i'm not going to kill myself remember our little mental stress thing and if you haven't watched Daniel over at Arms Family Home, he really put it um, good when he said it becomes a prison if you don't if you don't watch out. So I'm trying to keep this from becoming a prison. I am disgusted, but if I get that much mowed every day or so, I'm good. Get it back under control slowly. So um, our vines, oops, and I'm actually stepping on them. I thought I missed it, but we have vines all the way out here, all the way over there. It's just. This is just going to be a mountain of vine, and what I get, I get, I guess. But, um, I'll keep harvesting. The cucumbers are the only thing that I found. Um, I found blooms. See, there's blooms down there. 
Um, and I think, I don't know if that's loofa gourd, exploding uh, cucumbers, or if that's a watermelon. Because over here there's a watermelon. I know that funky leafed one is a watermelon. There's a little yellow flower there. I can't really tell what this is coming off of because you've got all three kinds of, of vine going everywhere. This almond, it, the hail came and, and knocked a lot of my uh, vines down. So now they're not on the trellis. One, that, one is like, I got the whole trellis, woohoo! And it's gone. And these down here are like, we got knocked off the trellis, we'll just go this way. So they're, I don't know, they're everywhere. And no, I know vines can't talk, okay? My silly animations, as RJ says. So anyway, then my tomato took a royal beating. Like, this thing is... RJ came and had tried to clip it together, and it just... It took a beating, flipped out of there. It was horrible. Um, it is what it is. My lavender here, of course, it's doing wonderfully. Lemon that I transplanted. This is my zucchini. Now, I have a lady who gave me an awesome recipe that I'm going to try. Um, these are, there's a couple of dark green ones. I'm waiting for them to get a little bit bigger. They, they seem small to me. But there's another one in here I'm digging. There it is. Oh, oh, it looks like we actually have two or three there. There's another one. Um, the one here. Look, there's a decent one. Oh, and there's another one. See, there's some in there. I wanted to get a little bit bigger, though. Um, I don't know. I always just judge them by size. This is thyme. Okay. So white thyme. Uh, then, I don't know what these are. It keeps putting flowers on, but the last part got ditched in the storm. This has a few catnips left, but they haven't really shot up. And now we have vines everywhere. And judging by the shape of them, eggplants are gourds or something, I don't know. I'm just to that point, I don't know. Things come up where they want, and I just don't know. There's the fire pit. I am looking for old marigolds. I, I want the old stinky kind of marigolds that drive um, bugs away to go in those two things right there. Um, trying to think, I got my rings around, and. Of course, it's just uh, gone crazy. I have a lady who wants to trade me some more strawberries for um, some, and see, here's another one that's dried out. I'll take that one to the pig. She'll be happy with me. Right now, she's mad because I put her up. Um, it's too hot for her, and I don't have her swimming pool in place. Anyway, um, but she wants to trade me some more strawberries for some wool to put around her trees, so I'm okay with that. So this little bed is doing really good. It needs to be watered. I didn't get down here this morning getting water done. But honestly, look at this grass. I don't want to water it anymore. <laughs> I want I want to water the plants, but not the grass. It's just growing everywhere. So, and this was supposed to be the dandelion bed. Yeah, dream on. So, anyway, it is overgrown, but it's because we've had hail, we've had rain. Um, the ground was wet and I couldn't get out here to mow around everything um, on the day I had to do that. Oh, and we have vines coming out here now. Check this out. I don't know. Um, I think loofah gourd? Maybe? I thought I was really good about knowing what was in this little thing right here, okay? It was supposed to be loofah gourds on that side of the trellis going out that way and uh, the dragon's eggs cucumbers going up this trellis. Then some watermelons got mixed in. I'm not sure. There was supposed to be one row of watermelon that kept going out that way, and that didn't happen. And then my solarization is getting covered by, by vines. I don't know if that's good or bad. I, ah, at least I'm growing something. That's all I can say is at least I'm growing something. Now, the other thing I've got to go check... And I was kind of disgusted with how this went. Um, you know, I lost one of my elderberry. I always want to say mulberry, but it's elderberry plants. And the other day I was out here and couldn't find the one I had left. Oh, look, there he is. Walked right to it. Woohoo! Okay, so I've got some elderberry right here. 
a elderberry. So, um, we'll see how it goes. But I want to keep everything. And I'm hoping, honestly, the root was down in there. So I'm hoping that maybe the root of that other one will come back. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So here's the garden. Um, a few pears. Nothing major. Some apples. More fruit than last year. So as long as I'm seeing improvement, I'm like, yeehaw. Um, then, like I said, everything took a beating. Um, the climbing spinach over here, it's, it's climbing. We have some that's really getting after it and climbing, and we have some that is just barely hanging on, and I haven't gotten out here to weed. I started mowing and all that. This side is doing awesome. It's climbing everything, but look here. We have some breakage here from the hail, too, so, but on the good side, this is coming up, so I'm going to see... I'm going to actually take and get some better string to put around that. We've used that for two years. And these little guys over here, they're hanging on. They're, they're not climbing yet. Oops, sorry. They're not climbing yet, but they're still in there, and they're doing good. So, um, in my book, if they're alive, they're doing good, just so you know. See, there's more hail damage that broke the big top off of that. Um, yep. Is what it is, but even if I get one wall of it going this year and half of a wall and then I can take and spread that out and put it over here to this other half of the wall so um, the goal is to have this little teepee all covered with that growing vining spinach which is self sowing climbing spinach is what we were told it was I still have to weed that bed the interns were going to do it but as we stepped outside to go come back down to here for our second time things got crazy and that's when the hail hit so you can definitely see the difference in mode not mode and this was actually mode two days ago because yesterday I didn't get a chance to come back out here so yeah I'm working on it um, we're gonna bring the other stuff down and I still have to get that under control so that we can start the shack um, is what it is but there's the garden update for this week